Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. Today I have an awesome unboxing for you of a really cool computer. So let's see with my key. Haha. -ha. Let's plug it in there. Not the best use of a key. I need a proper knife, but anyway. You need to get it nice and let's get it good good and firm in there. Aha. We're getting there. As you can see, I've now got that's some tape coming off the top. Get them from away from the TV table. <laughs> oh wow, guys. This thing's packaged good. Which is how I like it. Had to use a shopping cart to bring this in from the housing office. <laughs> okay. You guys. Um, <laughs> and we forgot the other side. I forgot this size has tape too. <laughs> so let's pick my keys back up and see how. Well, that goes. Uh -huh. Check it out, guys. Oh, I just ripped a chunk of the box off. <laughs> Oops. Because of yet some more tape. And there we go. We've successfully gotten the first part open. <laughs> Ah, I thought we were done. Guess I missed. Trying to see how anyway, I guess we're just gonna rip the box, guys. Or am I opening this from the bottom? Let me see here, guys. Huh. <laughs> Not having the best luck today. Well, we're making some progress, everyone. <laughs> and we have a power cable. The first of many things to come out of this box, or at least the first of two, I don't think he included anything else. 
I'll throw that on the bed. Yeah. Let's see, guys. I think I'm going to sit my phone down for this. You all a quick update. There's the status of the box. The beast is right there though. I got it. Here she is, everybody. The Mac Pro 1.1 2006 model. Power button feels good. There's our DVD drive. There's our empty drive. USB and Firewire 8 and 400 with a headphone jack on the front. This is mint condition, guys. It's a little bit of wear, but hey, it's an older machine. And on the back, there's our GT730, or no, GTX7300, USB 3, Firewire 4 and 8, optical in and out, normal in and out, and dual ethernets. Now, I've always wanted to do this, let's pop the latch. And let's take a look. We're missing drive bay two, it appears. Wow, the side panel's still in really nice shape. There's the 7300. And then right in this drive bay, uh, how do you do this? I'll have to figure this out for future reference. Uh, if anyone knows how these drive bays come in and out, I'd really appreciate to know. Because I have no idea. And I guess I'll have to get the second one. But our Xeons are in here. There's the GT730 and our riser cards with 8 gigs of RAM. So I guess I'll join you all in the next part. Let's line this back up. So 
so I guess I will see you all in the next part of this video where we install or no we oh I guess heck I'll have to experiment a bit with some video editing because I'm still need I'm learning this stuff and I guess I'll just join you back here in a minute for the first boot well you know what why not I'm sorry you guys keep having to see nothing while I do stuff but yeah that's just how it's got to be double checking the box I don't think there's anything else in here and no there is not okay guys so I'm going to add the Mac Pro into my setup trying to figure out where the best place for it would be. Hmm. Have an idea. I'll slap right there. <laughs> Alright. Alrighty everyone, so I guess I'll hook it up with you guys. So I'm gonna put my Mac Pro, get some of that, right here in my setup. And yeah. Let's get everything hooked up. So of course I have to have power. That'll go right there. <laughs> Alright. I need a DVI connection. I'll steal that from I'm trying to think. But that graphics card only has a DVI. Hmm. So one of my cables is a DVI to HDMI and the other's VGA. I do believe it's only got DVI back here, right? Yeah. Well, then I guess it will be. Um, should I just end it here or? Huh. Let me take a look around, guys. I might have a DVI cable. No, that's VGA. <laughs> well, the only option I can think of, you guys, is hooking it into my TV. That's not really the way I wanted to do this, but... So, I guess it won't be sitting over there for today. It will be sitting... We're in luck, everybody. I found my DVI to VGA. So, I'll get the machine set up, and we will be going. Oh, it's spinning up. We have our charm. Monitor on. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna unhook the other input. Which wasn't plugged in all the way, guys. So, it booted. <laughs> and my desk set up some shambles. Alright, guys, so about this Mac. As you can see, OS 10.7. Ooh, needs updated. 2, 2.66 gigahertz core Intel, Intel, or dual core Intel Xeons. 
And of course my monitor has to spam a freaking resolution. Okay, we don't care. Let's go to more info. NVIDIA, G G NVIDIA GeForce 7300 GT. Of course my screen. Oh, it's not running at max res. I'll have to fix that. Hard drive has a 250 gig. And then let's check the memory. Two, two, two gig, two one gig, and four five twelve meg sticks. Okay. So it boots up. Let's see if it connects to the uh, UALR internet. It does. Let me log in. Logged in. Now let's see if my little adapter here will let me max 1080p. I had to find my mouse. I'm not zoomed in. Huh. I'll have to get a direct DVI hook in later, but oh well, it works for now. So, let's just for the fun of it, let's restart it. Let's see that Apple boot screen since we missed it a minute ago. And I just realized another thing I forgot to hook in. Audio. <laughs> and it's tangled, a tangled mess, so I'll do that off camera. So, while we're waiting on the sucker to boot back up, what are my plans for this Mac Pro, you ask? Well, I've got some upgrades planned, uh, not going to announce the official parts. Some of you from the Mac Pro community might already know these plans. Others may not. I'm thinking my adapter isn't in all the way. <laughs> not having a dedicated normal DVI cable. It's kind of a problem. Let's screw that in. Huh, I wasn't getting a boot screen for some reason. I'm gonna have to look into that. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next one where I will be doing some other cool stuff with this machine. Thank you all for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Quick bonus clip. Uh, the boot screen issue was my monitor wasn't set for my monitor's native resolution. So I've got the adapter tightened up and the boot screen now shows. So we're set.